This is the introduction to frames. This is exactly the same as truss design, except for the fact we don't only have two force members. Uh, we, you will have um, members that have three joints on them, or four, or five, or however many the design uh, merits. So, as with all design, uh, you need to start with a rigid body uh, analysis just to find out the reaction toward the ground. If I just scoot it over here, I'm going to do just a quicker drawing of the analysis. So you have your A, you're going to have a bar that goes through here, so B your B, it's B your C, D, and E. What we're going to be solving for is A and E, the reaction of A and E, and you have a thousand pound force right here you're going to have an AY and an AX component and you also have an EY and that's it. To solve for this first of all we need to measure uh, the distances of this thousand, thousand pound force which I'm just going to say the distance from here to the E is 20 feet and the distance from A to where the thousand pounds is is going to be 17.5 feet. Okay, so now we can kind of uh, you know, kick our way around here and let's just start off with a moment and that way we can get things out of the way. This must equal zero. That equals a negative thousand. Uh, times 17.5 plus EY times 20 which you can solve for EY is equaling 875 pounds and that is the solution and actually that this is this is total vector because there is no EX there's no X component of the E so E is actually 875 so this is going to be our first first solution now if we just look at some of the other things that we'll find and uh, we'll find that FY it will be AY plus EY minus a thousand has to equal zero well we know what EY is now so this is going to be 875, obviously. So we can get AY is equal to 125 pounds. So this is just the Y component, remember that. For sigma FX, we know that this all must equal zero. And the only component in our rigid body analysis that has an X component is AX. So that must equal zero. So if we combine the two components, you find that the reaction or the uh, resulting force at A is 125 pounds. So now we've solved for A and E just by doing a rigid analysis, rigid body analysis. Uh, B, D, and F member. And what you're going to find is that you're going to have essentially this bar that, you know, you have a contact here, contact here, and contact here. It's going to go down a thousand pounds. And you know that you're going to have a BX. You know you're going to have a BY. You know you're going to have a, a DY. And you know you're going to have a DX. I'm just putting them all in positive direction. That way we can work them out later on. But let's just skip right to the uh, moments because usually you can solve something with that. It'll be moment at B, which will be 10 times DY minus 12.5. That's the distance to the thousand force times a thousand. And that'll equal zero which you'll find that dy is equal to 1250 pounds. Quite a lot. Okay, so let's continue. We have a sigma fy 
is equal to by plus dy minus a thousand equals and then basically you can you realize that you can add that we already know what dy is equal to now so we can just toss that in 1250 and utilizing this we know that this will equal zero so by will equal negative 250 pounds from the orientation that you see in this uh, little figure above so opposite of that orientation 250 pounds opposite so down of this sigma f of x is going to equal um, bx plus dx equals zero thus we know that bx uh, equals negative dx so it's just a, a, a relationship we know that uh, they're opposites of each other now that we've solved everything f that we possibly can from the BDF um, we still haven't gotten much solutions but you can see how we're get we are getting closer